Now, questions tonight about the future of offshore wind in Virginia. A dispute has erupted between Dominion Energy and the State Corporation Commission involving future rates that the utility can charge customers. Mike Gooding has the latest. It's estimated that offshore wind could power over 600,000 homes in Virginia and create over 1,000 jobs. That's if it happens. Local advocates for skilled trade labor unions are excited about what offshore wind could mean for their workforce in years to come. Not just us, it's other crafts in the area. Uh, the electricians are probably going to really benefit from it very good. The iron workers, um, the maritime workers that are out there. They're... But a new rate payer protection ordered by regulators could derail the entire wind endeavor. In its approval of the 176 turbine project, the State Corporation Commission included a performance guarantee in which consumers would be held harmless for any shortfalls in energy production. In a letter, Dominion called that guarantee untenable and said it will prevent the project from moving forward. 13 News now requested an interview with Dominion, but the company said because of pending litigation, it could not go on camera. In a statement, Dominion spokeswoman Benita Harris said, Offshore wind has many benefits for our customers. It is fuel-free, emissions-free, diversifies our energy mix, and is a transformative economic development opportunity for Hampton Roads. We look forward to completing the Coastal Virginia Offshore Wind Project as a regulated project to build on our long record of affordability and reliability. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. Under the original schedule, construction on the offshore wind project 27 miles off the coast could reportedly begin in 2024 and be finished in 2026. When completed, it is said that the project would be the largest offshore wind project in the United States.